Hi, my name is Jake, and I am a bookish drummer. So for this video, I'm going to be doing my October TBR, all of the books and random stuff I'm going to try to get to in the month of October. And of course, October, if you're on my Discord, the Bookish Drummer Discord, you know it's Stephen King Readathon time for the Stephen King Clue Readathon. And there might be time to still sign up, depends on when I get this video up, but you have until October 7th to sign up for any of these teams. Uh, my apologies if this comes out after October 7th, but either way, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Me and Stacy, while we're the creators of the readathon, we normally take place in our own readathons, but for this time, since we already know the solution to the Clue um, readathon, we will not be participating, but we did manage to work our reading habits into the readathon. So every time we finish something, of a book, a novella, a short story, or whatever, we're going to be doing a wheel spin to see who gets a free bonus clue. So we're going to be reading a lot in October still, and we're going to be reading a bunch of random, like, short stuff, like novellas or, like, little, like, two-hour audio stuff on Audible. So we have a lot planned for October. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. go ahead and start off with a couple of books that I've, I've already read or that I'm in the middle of. The first of those would be Lock Every Door by Riley Seeger. I've already finished this one. Very quick read. Uh, uh, I, I think I gave it three and a half stars. It was going pretty good. Like I was almost to the end and I was thinking like, oh, this is, this might be like my third or maybe even second favorite Riley Seeger. Like I was pretty much enjoying it. I was going to give it four stars. And then I get to, like, the twist of, like, what's actually going on, and I just rolled my eyes. I was like, lame. <laughs> I, I I did enjoy the book overall, though. I, I gave it three and a half stars. Not the worst Sager I've read, but definitely not, like, my favorite. Meh. And then the book that I'm currently working on is The Winter People by Jennifer McMahon. This was actually the Guess the Beat winner for September. I was supposed to read it in September, but I was... A busy bee in September, so I'm reading it like right at the start of October. It's pretty good so far. It's kind of split into two timelines where like you get a timeline from like a hundred years ago and then present day. I'm kind of like a lot more interested in the past timeline than I am the beginning one, but it's pretty good. It's probably gonna be like three and a half, four stars. Not like mind blowing, but I'm having a good time with it. And then some other books. This is all just gonna be random order. I'll go through my physical stuff first and then I've got my Goodreads pulled up. I'll go over some random stuff that I'll be reading. Uh, a random book from my childhood is The Overnight by R.L. Stein, and this is a book that I read in like sixth grade that I really enjoyed and then like a couple of years ago randomly I'm like what was that book that I read in middle school and then I knew it was an R.L. Stein book, but of course he's got like a million friggin' books, so it took me a long time to figure out what it was. And then when I found it on Thrift Books, I ordered it, and I read it as an adult, and I still kind of enjoyed it. So now I'm thinking of going back and rereading it. And actually, this was, speaking of Guess the Beat, uh, Pat kind of picked this book for me because I was mentioning it to him, and he was like, you know what, just go read that. And I was like, all right. So yeah, that'll be fun. Hopefully it still holds up. And another random book is Sterling City by Stephen Graham Jones. It's like 80 pages. Stephen Graham Jones, one of my favorite horror authors. Although I don't believe this is horror. It might even be YA, maybe like a sci-fi. I really don't know or remember what this is supposed to be. But either way, I'll probably read it in like an hour, less than two hours. Hopefully it's good. And then I've got... Death is a Lonely Business by Ray Bradbury. 
Love me some Reed Bradbury. Uh, he's, he's my favorite short story author. I know George R. R. Martin. Like, I love, like, all of his stuff. But overall, Ray Bradbury's short stories are just so good. Although this one is actually a mystery novel. And I don't know what this one's about at all. So I'm going to jump into this and hopefully it's good. I'm sure it'll be good. And then my Patreon winner for October, they picked Inherent Vice by Thomas Pynchon. And the Patreon winner... They love, like, literary stuff, like, stuff that you have to, like, sit and think about and digest, and they're often, like, very weird and probably convoluted. But um, this is supposed to be a good starter for Thomas Pynchon, and he's supposed to be, like, he's got books that are just, like, wacko, <laughs> like, just really out there, but also very good. Uh, this is supposed to be a good starting point, so I'm going to try it, see if I like it. Uh, if I don't, I think they've kind of said like, oh, we'll move on to this book and then maybe try out this stuff. I'm always interested to see, like, you know, because I don't want to get stuck reading the same old books every, every day. Like, you got to try new things, right? Uh, not speaking of trying new things, because I love me some horror, uh, I want to read Black Mouth by Ronald Malfi. And this was gifted to me, I think, last year by Sharon, we all know Sharon. Sharon, very generous, uh, and she's got really good horror and thriller tastes. Very excited for this one. It's supposed to be like a short, condensed version of It, like a similar premise, but obviously slightly different. Definitely excited for this one, especially in October. And also speaking of Sharon, I'm sure she gifted me this too, and this is one of her all-time favorite like uh, self-pub horror in the Hills Above the Grist Mill. Again, supposed to be really good self-pub horror. I've had really good luck. I haven't had the best luck with like self-pub fantasy, although there are some good ones, but usually self-pub horror, for whatever reason, turns out to be really good. So I expect this, I, I expect really good things from this author, uh, Calvin Ellis. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like that one. And then, a uh, whole different ball game here. Uh, me and Stacy like to occasionally like read books out loud to each other. And the book that she wants me to read to her in spooky season, for whatever reason, is After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. One of my all-time favorite authors. Uh, it'll be a nice palate cleanser for all of these horror and thriller books. Uh, I think this one's supposed to be definitely more romancy on... You know, I'm not a huge fan of romance, but uh, I love Taylor Jenkins' read books like Daisy Jones and the Six, Malibu Rising, Carrie Soto is back. I've never read a bad book by her, so I'm hoping this one's good as well. Uh, but now back to horror. Gotta love me some horror. Uh, I have Lost Gods by Brom, and I'm definitely excited for this because I've read two books by Brom. Well, what are they? The Child Thief, which I gave four and a half stars. Very good. Very reminiscent of King. And what's the other one? Krampus. That was my favorite by him. Basically like just Krampus versus Santa Claus. That one was five stars. I've heard this one isn't quite as good as those other two, but of course I'm going to be reading it and making up my own mind. So that one is going to be a lot of fun. And like I said, for the readathon, me and Stacy aren't limited to reading just over 200 page books. We can kind of read whatever we want to, which is nice. I might try to get to some George R. R. Martin graphic novels. Uh, this one's called Doorways and this one's called Starport. I'm assuming they're both sci-fi because that's kind of predominantly what he wrote in the 70s and 80s. So this should be a lot of fun. Hopefully they're good. I really don't have, well, I kind of, I mean, I've read a almost all of his stuff. So I kind of know what to expect, but still, I don't really know what they're about. So that'll be fun. And then I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm going to try to read either through Audible or Scribd, like stuff I, that I don't own physically. So let me get my laptop here. Uh, the main one that I want to do is Our Share of Night by Mariana Enrique. This book I've been wanting to buddy read like almost all year since the book has come out. I don't even remember when it came out, but me and Ian 
and a couple other people are, are really excited for this one. I've read a bunch of her short stories and she's a really good writer. And this one's supposed to be just like an epic, large horror book. Definitely excited to check this one out. And over on the Bookish Tremor Discord, every month we have a thrill, kill, or chill, or sorry, thrill, chill, or kill book club pick, where we pick like a random thriller horror book to read over on the Bookish Tremor Discord as a sort of buddy read. And the one for October is They Never Learn by Lane Fargo. And this one I'm definitely excited for because it's supposed to be like a, like a female serial killer, almost like a female version of Dexter. And whenever I hear a Dexter comparison, I get very excited. So I'm hoping this one is going to be a little better than some of our past Thrill, Chill, or Kill book clubs. So yeah, this one I'm, I have high hopes for. I also have a bunch of like really random, just like very short audios, like a lot of these are like four hours or less, or some of them are only like an hour and a half long. I might just have like a day where I just kind of binge through a bunch of them, get get a bunch of wheel spins for everybody. Uh, one of them is The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. I've never read that. It's a classic. I'm sure it's a classic for a reason. Sometimes classics can be kind of hit or miss for me, but... I kind of know the basic story of this, so hopefully it's good. If not, I can always DNF it. I also have This Is How You Lose the Time War. This is supposed to be like a pretty literary out there time travel story. I have no idea if it's going to be good or not. It's only like four hours. I'll give it a go. I'm not like super excited for it, but I've had it on my Audible for... Or actually, no, I think it might be on Scribd. Either way, it's been on my radar, so I will give it a go. Another book, or possibly even several books, that I might do is Monster Blood, which is a random Goosebumps audio. And the main reason that I want to do this is not just because I'm reading one of his other books, but uh, Kirby Hayborn has narrated several of these classic Goosebumps books. And I love me some Kirby Hayborn. I grew up reading Goosebumps, so mixing those two together, I'm thinking I'm going to have a good time. So there's Monster Blood, and then I think he did two other ones, I think that are like about mummies. I'll put them up here if I can find them, but yeah, I might just have a day where I read those. I don't know. I also have The Empress of Salt and Fortune by an author that I don't know how to pronounce, uh, Naivo possibly. It's supposed to be the first novella in the Singing Hills cycle. I really don't know what this is about. I, I'm pretty sure I just randomly bought this on Audible because it was like 99 cents. Uh, it's like a two and a half hour audio. I think it's supposed to be fantasy. Don't know what it's about. I can give it a go. Uh, a, a bunch of these shorter ones, I'm not guaranteeing I'm going to get to them, but I'm going to try my best to get to a lot of these. And I think I mentioned Sharon earlier. Another uh, horror novella that she really likes that I might try out is Crossroads by Laurel Hightower. This one's supposed to be pretty gruesome and pretty dark and disturbing, which I normally like. So it's like a th the, 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 the. I think it's like a three hour audio. So I might try that out too. This one I'm definitely going to do because it's by one of my favorite authors and it's like an hour and a half. It's called The Backbone of the World by Stephen Graham Jones. I think it's got like an animal on the cover. Probably has something to do with animals. I don't know. But it's Stephen Graham Jones. So I'm going to read it. And I'm sure I'll have a good... I'm sure... Ugh, man, I can't talk today. I'm sure I will have a good time with it. Another random like two-hour audio is Pile of Bones by Michael J. Sullivan. I think this is supposed to be sort of a prequel to Legends of the First Empire which is one of my all-time favorite fantasy series. I think this is probably going to follow Siri. Is that her name? I think her name is Siri. I don't know. I'm, I'm so bad with character names. Uh, either way, uh, I think I know the I know the character. I don't remember her name, though. I think it's Siri. But either way, uh, I will be reading this. Very short. I'm sure I'll enjoy it. Probably the short novella that I'm the most excited to read 
is No Kindness Too Soon by Sylvain Neville. One of my all-time favorite, if not my all-time favorite, sci-fi author. So good. And he actually wrote, he, he wrote uh, a previous novella called The Test, which I really liked. So definitely interested to see what this one is all about. It's audio only. It's the only way to read it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. All right, so if I'm not forgetting anything or omitting anything on accident, I believe that is my October TBR. Uh, probably a good chance that I don't get to every single one of these, or I might even add something in that I'm in the mood for. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. A lot of, a lot of spooky books, a lot of spooky books, and some random non-spooky books to kind of throw in for palate cleansing. Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, have you guys read any of these books? Please let me know what you thought of them down below, whether you loved them, whether you hated them, whether you thought they were kind of meh. Either way, let me know and we'll have a chat about it. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. I also have my Bookish Charmer Discord where we always have a bunch of fun stuff going on, like the Stephen King Clue Readathon. Hopefully, by the time I had this video up, there's still time to sign up. Hopefully. And I also have my Patreon if you want to go support me there. And my Amazon wish list if you'd like to buy me books. I don't need them, but I would appreciate them. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic day.